Hello, you are welcome. To solve this nice system or equation, we have x squared plus y squared equals to 45. And let this be equation 1. And we have y squared plus z squared equals to 40. And this equation 2. We have to find x, y, and z, where x, y, and z are positive integers. And from here, let's subtract equation 2 from 1. So we have equation 1 minus equation 2 then this implies we have x square plus y square then minus into bracket y square plus z square then equals to 45 minus 40 then from here when we open this bracket with minus this gives us x square plus y square then minus y square then minus z square will be equals to 5 from here. So plus y square minus y square cancel out. And we have x square minus z square to be equals to 5. Then this follows from difference of 2 square. And this can be written as x plus z multiplied by x minus z which is equals to 5. And here we can write this as 5 times 1 from here. And because the first bracket A will be greater than the second bracket, so the first here, which is x plus z, will be equal to 5. And the second, which is x minus z, will be equal to 1. And from here, we can solve this equation by adding and eliminate z. So x plus z, that's 2x, equals to 5 plus 1, that's 6. And divide both sides by 2 from here, we have 2 cancel out on this side, and x will be equals to 3. And uh, from equation 1, we can get y from there, from x square plus y square equals to 45. When we substitute the value of x here, from here, we have x to be 3, so that will be 3 square plus y square equals to 45 then 3 square 3 times 3 that's 9 plus y square equals to 45 and then we can take 9 here so we have y square equals to 45 minus 9 and that gives us 36 so we have y square equals to 36 so we can take the square root on both sides and square cancel square here, square root here so we have y equals to, this should be plus or minus 6, but we are interested in positive number, so y is equals to 6 from here. Then to get z from equation 2, what we have in equation 2 is y square plus z square equals to 40. And since we have y to be 6, so this will be 6 square plus z square equals to 40. And 6 square 6 times 6, that's 36 plus z square equals to 40. Take 36 here, that means z square here equals to 40 minus 36. And there we have 4. So z square here equals to 4. Then take the square root of both sides again. Square cancel square root and z equals to 2 from here, which is positive integer. So, hence, we can conclude from here that x equals to 3. So, we have x is equals to 3, y is equals to 6, and z is equals to 2. So, this we have the solution of x, y, and z in this given problem. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. And put your comments in the comment section. See you in the next class. Bye for now.